Hey, what's up guys? The Inked Up Artist here. Uh, today is going to be doing a uh, review on Apple Barrel Pouring Medium. I got the, uh, the jug right here. Um, it is a 64 ounce uh, jug of pouring medium. You can get it at uh, Walmart. Uh, for about, I think it was $19. Um, and while I was there, I decided to pick up Apple Barrel uh, paint also. Um, I got many different colors. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and try this. I've seen uh, other people uh, on YouTube do reviews on this. I uh, thought I'd give it a shot. I've never mixed my own paint before, so this is going to be really interesting. Um, I've already pre-mixed some of the paint um, off the video, just because it's a very time-consuming process. I am going to show you how to mix, uh, mix your own paint, though. I'm only going to do one color, just because, like I said, it's a very time-consuming process. Every person does it different. As far as like their methods, um, what they use to mix it. Uh, so on the actual jug of the apple barrel pouring medium, uh, for the directions it says pour equal amounts of pouring medium with your paint. Mix it in a cup until everything is mixed and then it says it's good. Um, I tried that earlier and it was not good. Uh, the paint was way too thick. Um, so because it's acrylic, um, you gotta add a little bit of water to it. Um, anyway, so I think I pre pretty much have the colors uh, mixed and they're ready to go. Like I said, it's my first time doing it. Um, so anyways, what I do is uh, I get a little Dixie cup I get, uh, I get my paint, so I'm going to be doing black, get the uh, apple barrel pouring medium jug, okay, so what I do is So what I do is, um, where'd it go? Uh, I have a little syringe here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and fill the sy syringe up. Um, and once it's filled up, let me see where, where, is, where is the little cup? Okay. Once I have the syringe up, I'm just going to go ahead and pour the syringe with the that's filled with the pouring medium inside the cup okay and then i'm going to repeat that process one more time okay so we are done with the pouring medium i'm going to go ahead and put my lid on and I'm gonna go ahead and just get it out of the way real quick. Okay, so if you have more than one of these uh, syringes, then you could use another syringe for for the paint. Um, I do have other syringes, uh, but right now they're uh, being used for my model work. Um, so we're just gonna use the same syringe. So since I did that one twice, we're going to do this one twice. That way it's equal amounts.
Okay. So we got equal amounts of black paint and uh, pouring medium. So now we're going to go ahead and with a stick, like a popsicle stick, just go ahead and stir it up. And we're going to stir, and stir, and stir. So when you're stirring, you're going to probably feel some clumps. You want to keep stirring until you don't feel any clumps, till it feels all nice and smooth. Okay, so when I lift up my stick, I don't know if you guys can see it at this angle or not. Let me see if I can try it over here. What you want is, you want the paint to drip off your stick in a nice um, kind of like a nice runny line kind of like if you have a cold and your nose is running it's kind of like that um, so right now my paint is t still too thick because it's just doing a little drip it's not running uh, so you want to get some water and add some water to it not a lot just a little bit And then go ahead and stir some more. There we go. That's good. That's good. Okay. So, what I'm doing now, uh, I don't know if you can see on the camera or not, um, some of the colors that I had already previously mixed, I'm just adding a tiny bit more paint to it, um, just to help out the ratio. Well, I don't think these two colors are going to be agreeing with me. Those are the only two colors that uh, doesn't seem to be working. I got white, green, yellow, red, and black that seem to be mixed pretty good. Uh, the blue and the brown, uh, for the life of me, I can't get it to mix properly. I, I don't know. Um... So, this is going to be pretty interesting to find out. So, I'm just going to go ahead and clear off all of the paint on here. I'm going to clear off the uh, water as well. Okay, so I'm going to set the paints all aside real quick over here.
Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and get my canvas. Okay, so I don't know if you noticed, but on the bottom of the canvas, the bottom is lined with just regular blue uh, painter's tape. And then on all four corners, I have thumbtacks. Uh, I have thumbtacks that way when you set it on your table, if you have a table, uh, it's all flat and when the paint goes over on the sides, um, it'll be easy and all you got to do is just lift up uh, and then you could peel the tape off of the back and then you could hang it on the wall after you put your um, finish on it so I use a Mod Podge for my finish anyways so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have I'm just gonna set this right up here for right now so I have another cup I'm gonna go ahead and pour the paints into the cup and uh, the type of pour we're gonna do today um, it's either going to be a, uh, ring, a tree ring pour or a flip cup. I still haven't decided. Um, I guess when I see the paint come into this cup, that will tell me. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with white. Hmm. Just by pouring it out, don't have a good feeling about this. This is the last of our color. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and go back to yellow. Then we're going to go back to white. And then green. Red. And that's all the red. And we're going to do blue. Okay. So. see yep you can see it right there okay alrighty so now we're gonna go ahead and pour it I think uh, I think it's gonna be a, a, a tree ring pour um, I'm kind of curious on how this is gonna turn out it looks kind of runny in here um, I'm not really sure if this is mixed the right way or not which doesn't make sense because I've seen all the videos and I've followed everything so anyways here goes
So with all those colors that I added on here, the brown really took over. And it is super runny. Okay, so with all these colors, the brown definitely took over. That's pretty much all you can see is brown on here, um, which kind of sucks. So I'm going to see if I can try to help it out. I'm just going to go ahead and do some freestyle pours on here. Okay, so we got all the colors on here now. Now I'm going to go ahead and see if I torch it since the brown was so runny. Well, not brown, since all the colors, it became brown um, since it was so runny. Going to see if that acted like a, a base coat and then try to torch this and see if it makes a difference on anything.
Well, when I torched it, it definitely made a couple of cells, which is interesting. Um, I used no silicone on this whatsoever, uh, but you can see a cell uh, right there, a couple of them here. So that's kind of cool. Um, but this paint is super runny. Um, you know, I, I, I follow the instructions, uh, half of the, uh, apple barrel, uh, or not half, um, yeah, half of what you pour for, a, uh, apple barrel pouring medium to half of, uh, what you pour for paint, you know, equal part, one to one ratio. That's what I did. It was, um, not thick enough. It was not even... I don't even know how to describe it um, and uh, so I added some water to it and the colors seemed fine except for the blue and the brown but uh, anyways I kind of like the way this looks right here I'm not really sure if I uh, want to go ahead and tilt it but what I can do is I'm going to go ahead and use my straw and I'm going to go ahead and try to blow some of it to get an effect
Alrighty. Well, there you go. So, this is what we have. Um, I'm going to bring you guys in for a close-up. But, uh, I'm kind of curious on how this is going to dry. And what it's going to look like when it dries. So I'm going to go ahead and torch it one more time. Okay, so this time when I torched it, it definitely uh, brought out the colors. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and pause this for a quick second, and so I can get the camera and bring you guys in for a close-up. Alrighty, guys. So, here we are. This is the top view of it. Um... The brown actually looks pretty good, considering that it took over all of it. But, uh, like I said, I'm not too positive if I like this or not. I'm going to have to exp So anyways, guys, here we are uh, for a close-up. Here's the top view. Um, like I said, I'm not too sure about this pouring medium. I am definitely going to have to experiment on it some more. And work out the bugs and maybe I'll do another video on it uh, but as far as a review um, for me for my experience um, I would say no do not get it um, just because I followed the directions and it still was super super runny uh, like I mean a, you saw it as soon as I was pouring the, the, the cup onto the canvas for the tree ring. It was splattering everywhere, so it was way too thin. Um, I couldn't get it the in between of the too thin and the too thick. I couldn't get that consistency. Um, but uh, overall, the painting actually looks pretty pretty interesting once I figure out more about this apple barrel pouring medium and actually know what I'm doing with it <laughs> um, then I will be doing another video but you know as the saying goes uh, you learn by trial and error I don't think this is that bad of an error um, like I said I just need to figure out what's going on let me know what you guys think of this video. Hey, look, there's a frog. Here's a frog right here. Standing up. Here's the feet. Little head. Eye. There's another frog right there. Another eye. The face. Laying down. <laughs> That's cool. Anyways, um, so... Yeah, let me know what you guys think of the video, uh, whether it's good or bad. Um, please be honest. Uh, if you're another artist uh, watching this video, um, please give me feedback. Um, I want to know what I did wrong. And if you do like the video, uh, please like it. Uh, please subscribe if you have not already. Once again, my name is The Inked Up Artist. Um, this is my first time using Apple Barrel, um, also Apple Barrel Pouring Medium. Uh, I normally use Artist Loft paint, 
and I really enjoy that. So thank you for watching and have a good night. Bye-bye.